Despite the crybabies on the political left having a meltdown over stop and search, Priti Patel has finally announced the removal of the restrictions on Section 60, which means we're finally going to have some law and order in this country. I'm not sure what's going on, but on this channel today, we are getting good news left, right and center. First, we had uh, Liz Trust uh, announcing uh, the suspension of uh, the Northern Ireland Protocol coming up. And uh, now we have and also we had the European Union having a meltdown. That was fun. And uh, now this Priti Patel is doing something right. I'm, am I dreaming? If I am, just leave a comment just in case. But these guys, the political left, who for the past few years have been it's just lashing out like spoiled children going around saying scrub section 60 which is a uh, stop and search powers uh, because apparently it's, it's targeted anybody with a, a specific skin color and a hoodie not necessarily because it really depends on the area and the community if you go to parts of a majority of parts of the, the glasgow for example if you do stop and search it will be primarily you'll be stopping and you'll be actually arresting a lot of kids who are in track suits but they're white don't know why, what is it with tracksuits it's like the early 2000s late 90s all over again but that's still happening depending on where you go if you go to chinatown you will you will be stopping a lot of chinese kids you, you <laughs> southeast london there will be a lot of uh, the black community in birmingham there will be a lot of middle easterns that will be stopped who are caught uh, committing crimes and they'll be carrying all these like weapons it, it really depends it's relative and they don't actually understand this but there have been restrictions until now on uh, section 60 uh, but part of it is actually being very, very idiotic. Now, for example, you had to publicly uh, let kind of people know, uh, let people know in advance if you were going to do it. So now there's no longer a need to publicly communicate uh, the uh, communities in advance. It defeats a purpose if you have to do it. It makes absolutely no sense. The other restriction that's now gone is the fact that until now uh, you could only do it if a, a serious uh, offense was going to be definitely committed now it's a serious uh, offense is maybe committed so even if you have enough suspicions and enough evidence then you can actually go and stop how is that bad why do we not have proper law and order in this country why did we have to wait until now for the, the, the home secretary to actually tell us to give us the powers the, 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 our police officers because until now you've had the police officers being told by city khan as the commissioner in london and the rest of the met around the country and the other police forces uh, to sit in their offices on their laptops and checking out tweets and facebook posts that's not the job of the police is it and this is actually welcoming news Priti patel actually announced herself saying uh, the devastating impact of a uh, knife crime uh, on families who have lost their loved one is unbearable no one should have to endure the pain and suffering of the victims of these appalling crimes and we should um, have a responsibility uh, to, to them and to do everything in our power to prevent future tragedies so i'm being objective you know it's been a while i haven't done it in ages i am praising pretty patel well done pretty now get everything else sorted especially the borders and rwanda then we'll, we'll clap you more but <laughs> we'll see what happens but for now uh, we're gonna have to basically celebrate that the left are gonna cry even further and we're gonna have a hopefully some law and order back in this country subscribe to the channel amaya tc and we are the media